AGM quad battery and Epsom salts. I'll give this one a go. As you can see there, um, it's down to 3.7. Oh, I had it on the charger all night and it's just dropping continuously, so it's pretty well stuffed. Now what, I've done this previously, but what I did, I just used a um, scraper. Um, I've got myself in under the side here and just worked my way along until I cracked it up. It wasn't too hard to get off. Now what you have in there are these little rubber bungs which just pop off. Now you probably can't see, but there is literally no water left in here. So what I'm gonna do is put a um, tablespoon of Epsom salts into each cell, fill it with water, give it a charge up, and um, with a bit of luck, I'll bring it back. As you can see there, this charger um, cranks up 14.5 volts while it's charging. And uh, the only reason I did this to get the water into the battery, I actually used a um, syringe because the holes are quite small. Um, just a bit of a tip there. It's a bit of a follow up. Uh, it's been 24 hours now. Um, I'm on the third charge cycle on this particular charger, which um, charges it up to, I'll well, charge that 14.5 volts um, until it thinks it's done and then holds float for 13.5. And as you can see there, um, the battery now is holding reasonably steady at 10.5. I'd probably say it'll drop down about 10.5, which is a remarkable improvement from yesterday. So, um, I'll, um, between each cycle I've also been giving this a bit of a shake to uh, try and break down the crystal build up on the plates. And, um, yeah, I'll do a couple more cycles and hopefully I can get it back. Well, what a result. So it's been six hours after the last posting. I did two more cycles on the 2.7 amp charger. I've just thrown it on the CTEC 5 amp charger. It's been on there for about two hours and um, look at the results. It's holding steady at 12.7. I am absolutely blown away. I've just cleaned up a fair bit of overspill, so it bubbled out a lot, but I did have it brimming with water. So, um, yeah, that's a fantastic result. I don't know what it's like for cranking yet. I'll um, let this charger do its cycle and um, I'll give you another update. Alright, so here we go. I've just pulled it off the um, 5 amp charger. It's been off for about a minute, fully charged. It came off at 13.3, steadily dropping, but um, just looking at that, it's holding quite well. I'll um, come back in the morning after it's sat overnight and um, we'll give it another check, see what it sits at. Okay, it's now been sitting overnight and um, yeah, 12.8 volts, holding steady. Extremely wrapped with that. Uh, next thing I'll hook her up to the bike and see if it's got any crank. All right, so here it is. Temporary fitment, just uh, see if it all works. As you can see, my um, dodgy setup, just so I could go for a ride the other day. It's disconnected at the moment, just to prove a point. Right, right first crank, let's see what happens. He's on neutral. There's a few on. Choke him down a bit. Obviously not liking that too much. A bit cold this morning. There you go, I've just brought a battery back from two volts to crank this thing for at least 30 seconds and get it started. So that is an absolutely fantastic result. Thanks for listening. All right, so this has now been sitting all day after my start this morning and we are still holding at 12.7 volts. So I reckon this battery has been revived. I'm actually wrapped with that. I don't know if it was the Epsom salts or maybe it was just the water. So all I've got to do now is um, glue the cap back down, chuck in the bike, and I'm good to go. Thanks for listening.